I guess the Indigenous round if I can start there. Um, what's it mean? What's it mean personally and, and for the club this, yeah. this weekend? Well, obviously it's an important round, and, and the club requested it every year. So um, I look forward to it personally, and um, you know, just to go out there and represent my people, my culture, my family, um, and yeah, it's it's something that I really want to go out and. And put on a show. Um, you know, disappointing effort last week. You know, individually and as a team. But you know, just to see if if you watched uh, after the game, we got beaten by 91 and two points. And I went out and signed autographs with with the fans there, and um, you know they cheered us on like <laughs> like we, we won by 90, um, 91 points. And you know they love it. Uh, they don't care about the result. Um, they love seeing you know indigenous role models. Indigenous players and an AFL game and others, so um, you know, that's why that's why I play the game. Why did you enjoy that moment so much? Yeah, I saw that was you know, there were hundreds of them there. Why did you get so much pride out of it? Oh, because I'm a that's what I, I want to do. I want to represent my culture. Um, I want to be a role model for these young Indigenous kids. I want to teach them what's right and wrong. I mean, in the community these days, there's a lot of a lot of stuff that's happening, whether it's through alcohol, drugs, abuse, um, death. And you know, I, I want to try to change the cycle, and um, the AFL is a great platform for that. And, um, like I just said, just to see the smiles on their face. And you know, we got beaten by 91 points, and then I come out, and you know, I was a bit flat, but seeing the little kids, I, I picked up a little baby, and you know, she, she had a little chubby cheeks, and just uh, brought a, brought a smile to my face. And that Guernsey Eddie, you're pretty happy with the Indigenous Guernsey? Yeah, it came up pretty pretty good this year, you know, Wayne's uncle designed it, um, you know, the circle with the white dots represents the 23 players past and present, um, and, and the circles around are all communities that are connected to Adelaide Oval, and we're not all just connected to um, Adelaide Oval, the communities are connected together, because, you know, somehow I'm connected to Cam Alice, I'm from Sejuna, I'm from Paul Inc, and Cam's connected to Wayne in a different um, part of the tribe, so we're all connected as one. Well. And I know you are going to have the review, I think, later today out of the match, but for you, where do you think it maybe went wrong against Melbourne on Sunday? <laughs> well, the first bounce, I would say. They, they got on top and they kicked five, uh, five unanswered goals. You know, I think we scored one, they kicked three, we scored one, then they kicked another two or three. So, um, and then it made it hard for ourselves to, to fight back. And, and it's tough when teams get a jump on, you know. We, we, get, we have to chase towel a bit. And, um, I just felt like nothing was going our way. And, but we, we'll review it, um, learn from it and move on because this week's a very important week. We can't dwell on last week, obviously, and um, we want to get everyone up and about for, for this week. What's the key to turning things around when you have a bad loss? I think it's more so you know, reviewing it, learning from it, and then going out and training it. And it's all about that attitude and intent. intent sorry. Um, so we have to go out there, train well, train hard, train the way we play, um, and then implement that on game day. And obviously, being at Adelaide Oval as well, with, with the you know 55,000 Crows members, will, will help a lot as well. Do you feel like you, your form? You had a bit of an injury at the start of the year. You're a bit slow, but the last few weeks you've been back to sort of your best again. Do you feel like you've turned the corner personally? Uh, I still think I can improve. Um, you know, no one's perfect, and uh, yeah, I, I had a slow start to the season, uh, but I believe that I was just playing my role for the team. The goals, the goals weren't there. I was doing the tackling, um, the pressure, and keeping it in our forward half. And the coaches are pretty happy with that. So um, it's more about if I kick no goals and we win, I'm happy. Eddie, how's um, the mood given what happened? I mean, is it harder to bounce back physically and, and put the footy stuff into play, or is it harder to challenge you know, the mental side of things after you get smashed like that? Oh, I haven't really been around the club since since we uh, left. I've been at home. Obviously, I've got uh, twins, four kids. So uh, my my mood personally has been fine. You know, uh, go home to my kids, and make sure. We look more at life, you know, with, with the four kids running around, and you know, footy's just a game. But um, I think everyone's going to be up and about this week. It's uh, an exciting week, um, and so yeah, we're looking forward to Sunday at four against GWS. How much do you look at the? I suppose round five. So round five, so you lost pretty heavily to Collingwood, and the round five, you came out and had a good victory that week. How much do you look and how do you how, how how you responded then? What you sort of do now? Yeah, it's a funny one because we. We kind of, you know, respond well to when our back's against the wall. Um, you know, if you look last year against North Melbourne, we got hammered, out there. And, it's, and it's not like it's the end of the world. You know, we sit six, I think, on, on the ladder, um, and you know, we're two games off top or three games off top. So, and it's not even halfway during the season. So, uh, we know we need to improve, and you know, we'll work on that during training. Are the injuries sort of taking the 
toll at the moment that you've got seven of your best 22 out at the moment. It's, it's pretty. Yeah. It's a good effort to be where you are. It is. It's a great effort, and you know, the, and it just shows when we have injuries like that. Players like you know Cam Alishon, when you just spoke to, you know, Huey Greenwood. We get Jordan um, and Miles Paholiki coming and playing at forward line. Lockie Murphy played down at forward. He put the pressure on. Andy Ottens went back. Tom Duday played back, and so you know we got an exciting young group. And you know the fans out there, they should be excited for what these young young kids are producing. Yeah, we had an off week last week, but you know it's one week and. You know, hopefully we can turn it around this week. Speaking of putting on a show, um, I reckon against GWS a couple of years ago, you kicked probably one of the best goals at Adelaide Oval. Can you hope to maybe pull off something the like that again? Goal. Rennie, the best goal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it's always exciting. You always want to want to do something um, exciting in Indigenous round. Um, you know, you just got to play on instinct. That's the main thing. Play on instinct and, and bring the joy back. And have fun and enjoy it while you're out there. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. So I've got to try try come up with something. I've got to tell Curly, pass it to me or something. Put it put it in the pocket and I'll try to get there. You'll have to kick one from the centre square or something. It's just, harder and harder. Yeah, we'll go on go on the pie stand and <laughs> try something from there. Um, any personnel come back this week, do you reckon? Or Lee touched on the injuries, you sweating on anyone? No, not really. Um, you know, uh, Cedar missed uh, didn't quite make it up there, so hopefully, you know, we'll get through training. Um, this week and get up and play and we'll just have to wait and see. Brownie? Brownie's alright? Yeah, Brownie should be alright. It was just concussion, I think, and he'll pull up this week. Seed's Seed's kicking some footies around before. He can't be that bad if he's kicking around. Who's that? Paul was kicking some footies around with you guys before. Yeah, he is. He's kicking footy. He's feeling quite good. So um, we need him back in our side. You know, he's had a fantastic season um, up on that wing and I think he's number one for score assist, uh, number one for inside 50s, number one for score involvement. So he's a big part of our team and he's an important player so hopefully we can get him back this week. Eddie, what did you think when Don came out and didn't say anything at three quarter time? Um, well we knew that you know we, we kind of deserved that we, we were playing shockingly um, and I guess he's just trying to see if we're, we're engaged um, if we're still here if we're still present because personally at times when, when we're out there me personally just felt like what are we going to do to get ourselves back in the game? Am I still going to be present? Am I going to give effort when, I, when the ball comes down here? And stuff like that goes through your head when you're out there and you're losing by that much. And you just got to try to somehow say, stay focused. And I think that's what John did actually for the time. Come out and see if we're all still focused.